good, YouTube? It's your boy, R-E-B-N-Y-G. You know what's up. You know what's good, so you know what it is. We back with another episode of Real Talk, where the people send me a question or some type of inquiry that's on their mind because they want to hear my advice or hear my response or just hear what I have to say because that's why you wrote me, right? So, let's do this. You can either hit me up on Twitter with your question, as some people do, or they just leave a comment below, you know, or you can also hit me up on Facebook. You should already know the tag for those that are just joining us. My Twitter is P-A-P-O-W-E-L-L-903, and my Facebook name is the same name as my YouTube name, which is R-E-B-N-Y-G. So, just to get us connected, last episode or last time we was on here, we answered a few questions or we, you know, had something to say about a couple of things that some people have wrote. So, I got a list of some more, some from Twitter, some from uh, Facebook. Wrote them all down and we're going to get to these immediately. Let's not waste no time. Let's get straight to it because, you know, you on quarantine I'm on quarantine, we in the house, it might be Friday, we ain't got no jobs, and we ain't got shit to do, so let's get right into it, so my first question is from at Bambi Two Shades, and I assume that's a she, and she writes, why is a hymen called a hymen? That's a good one. Um, I would have to say uh, it's called a hymen because naturally, naturally, woman is supposed to be with man. And, you know, every man that I know likes to be greeted by a woman in a nice manner, you know? Dudes don't be trying to holler at chicks with stank attitudes. You can't even say hi, you know? You too stuck up to say hi, you know? We like to be approached by, you know, a woman who has a great attitude. You know, I say hi to you, you say hi back. I say what's up, you say what's up. So it's only right that uh, a man likes to be greeted a certain way. So, you know, uh, when they trying to you know, get to that place with a woman, you know, for the first time in all first greetings, you say hello. So it's there, you know, when we coming through, it says, hi, man. And then you guys are well acquainted after that, I'd say, right? Right? No, God! Yeah, well acquainted. So, hi, no, man. God, please, and then no. 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 you guys are officially no. uh, whatever you guys are. You know, it might not be a relationship, but you guys got a relationship now. Some, somewhat. So, yeah, hi, man. Maybe it should be called hi, woman, right? Yeah, no, nah, let's not get too sexist. Hi, man. Yep, it's just a greeting. It's proper. I don't know. God made it. Don't ask me. All right. So, next we have I'm a Doja Cow 420. Okay, I feel like I can break this name down, right? I don't know. I assume that the person that came up with this name smokes, first of all. You know, smokes a lot of that. (laughs) Ooh-wee. That's the 420, right? And obviously, while they were high, they were watching that Doja Cat video, Moo, where she's... I'm a cow, I'm a cow, I don't go, you know, that one, right, so I assume that they took the doja, they, they couldn't say doja cat, because doja cat's doja cat, so they took the doja, they cut off the cat, and they put doja cow to make reference to, you know, the doja cat video, this person obviously likes doja cat, and they were high when they came with the name, you know, henceforth, I'm a doja cow for 20. Right? I know. <laughs> I am a genius. Yes. 
Anyway, proceeding. I am a Doja Cow 420 says, why do women have mammary glands? What's it connected to to create milk? And why do men have nipples? All right, first of all, this will be one question. That's like three, all right? I have to like answer all three of these now. You're taking up space for like three other people or two because you get one of those questions. Ugh, and this is a complicated one. I'm gonna have to take the glasses off for this one. Okay, let's start with the first question. Why do women have mammary glands? I could be wrong, but I assume mammary glands are, you know, what fills up to create the boob because men are attracted to breasts. You know, we all have our body makeups for a reason. Men are supposed to attract women. Women are supposed to attract men. So our bodies are made up, you know, a certain way to get that attraction. So with that being said, I think the mammary glands are just something that grows inside women's chest to make them feel and that attracts men because no man wants to be with a woman that has a chest like his. So that's that one. Uh, what is it connected to to create milk? Um, <laughs> Got <he. laughs> I'm gonna take a Got shot at this one too. Maybe it's the mammary glands. <laughs> Maybe that's another purpose they serve. Being that they only fill up when you're pregnant or just had a baby, you know, or not, you know, not in the first trimester, obviously, but like, you know, when you're about to give birth and all that stuff, you know, the body is a self-working system here. So, you know, I think maybe it begins to fill up with milk because it knows naturally it has to feed the baby, right? At least that's what I think. So if you don't know, you can just say what I just said and just sound smart. Because most people are only as smart as they let you believe they are. Most people don't know what the they're talking about. So, yeah. Just bring that up in the conversation about mammary glands and just sound like the smartest person in the room. Just be aware of, you know, people who have PhDs and whatnot. So, moving on. Why do men have nipples? Because if we didn't, it would just be weird. It's like, why do people have butt cracks? You know, it could have looked like anything. Bruh. It could have been straight flat back there with a little hole back there, you know, like a drain. It didn't have to look the way it looks, but some men like fat. <laughs> so, you know, you got to put that crack in the middle. Oh, my God. It, you know, and bow. You just got yourself a man because you got a fat. <laughs> you know, but um, this isn't a. It's about nipples. And, um, yeah. I think it just look weird. You know, could you imagine a chest and no nipple there? You look like a Ken doll, you know? Ken attracts Barbie. Not grown women, you know? But we are made from the same... You guys, women are made from men. Remember that? You know, from the rib of Adam came Eve. So, obviously... All together, it's called mankind. So we got the original bodies anyway. So the real question ain't why do men have nipples? The real question is why do women have nipples? Although obviously the answer from that is because we have nipples. You guys have nipples because we have nipples. But you just got some extra features because you have to nurture and, and, and you know give birth to the baby. So your nipples come with features. Women's nipples are like xbox one games and the features that come with the nipple is like dlc your nipples come with milk and you know they change colors and they all look different some got those little you know braille bumps on them some got the big wide areolas that take up almost the whole titty you know like they hold got the whole you know what i mean and then some got the really little small uh volume buttons you know where you gotta turn it up and you gotta turn it down you know and men's nipples are just there no dlc you know no extra content 
they're just there for cosmetic reasons. Moving on, uh, we have at Bop It Baby ninety two. I ain't played a Bop It in the no, no. I, I take that back. I got like two Bop It's, a small one and a big one. I do play it from time to time. Yeah, Bop It is. It's the game. This person obviously. I don't. Were they born in ninety two? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe it was born in 92, you know. Some people put numbers behind their name because that's the year they was born. And to come up with Bop It Baby 92, that's not just random. Like, there had to be some type of reason why they picked this name. Oh, and for those that are asking, I, you know, I'm, like, fully dressed, you know. Because, cause, you know, normally, in real talk, you know, I'm in my comfort zone. I'm in my little corner. I got my robe on. And, you know, we just getting comfortable having a little talk by the fireplace that's not in this video you know anyway I'm, I'm fully dressed this time and all that stuff because you know my wife didn't want you guys to see my legs so I put on pants you know and it just looked weird to have a robe on and have clothes on under them so so you might as well, I might as well just get dressed you know but yeah she doesn't want you guys to see my legs Anyway, uh, Bobby Baby 92 says, what is the purpose of a navel? That's a lot of body questions today, ain't it? What, it? what is, I guess it shows you what a lot of people has been doing with their time on this quarantine, huh? <laughs> getting to know each other or getting to know oneself. I done had a question about a hymen mammary glands nipples and now a navel you guys all right you guys should not be left alone by yourselves i i <laughs> you guys are nasty and i like it so bobby baby says what is the purpose of a navel obviously it used to be you know connected to you know the uh the tube, the thing called the uh, <laughs> hold on, let me get back to you. A few moments later, five minutes later, I might have to look this up. Fifteen minutes later, So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Pow! That's what it is. The umbilical cord. So the navel was the umbilical cord. You know, that's how you used to eat and breathe, you know, through the host, the mother. But after they cut it and all that excess stuff falls off, you breathe by yourself now. <clears throat> you know what I mean? So you don't need that extra appendage there because you guys were breathing through your mothers. And eating through your mothers. Now you eat and breathe on your own. You're self-servant now. You're self-sufficient. So, you know, they cut it. They closed it. Now that way is done. So, yeah, I assume that, you know, the navel is just a closed passageway, a, 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 a dead end, which is weird because nowadays when you see people in the hospital and they can't breathe for themselves, you know, they just put a breathing tube in them and when they can't really eat nothing, you know, or drink nothing. They get IVs to hydrate their body and they probably get fed through a feeding tube. Why is it that they don't just open your navel back up and feed you and help you breathe through that? Yo, you might have just made a fact just now. That's some real shit. Huh? Got something, right? Yeah. That's a question for another uh, episode, though. But yeah, I think it's just a dead end now. You know, it used to be a one way street. And now it's cut and it's just a dead end. Now there's a scenic route, you know? You get it. All right. Uh, at Too Short to Hype writes, What makes a man act, quote unquote, like a man, and a woman, quote unquote, act like a woman? Um, 
I think it varies pretty much. I think that's an answer that is mainly come to form because of the environment itself. You know, the environment that you grow up in and society teaches you what, in their opinion, a man and a woman should be. You grow up learning what a woman and a man should be from your parents first. But then you start hanging around your friends and then your friends start to dictate what's gay and what's not and how you acting like a how you acting like a girl or acting like a punk and when you acting like a G or a man or whatever and women do the same thing. Women do it to men a lot more than they do it to themselves and their friends though. You don't really hear too many times a woman be talking to another woman and say, act like a woman for God's sakes or, or big up, you know what I mean? Get you know what I mean, they don't they don't say that. But a woman be quick to tell a man to act like a man or you acting like something else you know just disrespectful but your your father uh, teach you men don't cry you know so most men feel like they gotta be brick walls and you know and then your mother uh, tell you that it's all right to cry and try to tell you that you know women want a man that's in touch with his feminine side and all of that you know but then you got your friends that act hardcore and they want you to do the same thing. And if you don't, they judge you on that. My personal opinion, I think a man and what determines a man to be a man or act like a man is how you handle your responsibility. A man's job, you know, is to secure oneself. And if you make a family, secure your family, you know, so you making sure you and your family is taken care of, making sure your business is taken care of, taking full responsibility for what's your fault and doing something about it. You know, not trying to run away from your problems, handling them as such. And being that also a man's job is to carry burdens, you know, because that's something that we as men, because we have to be the rock and we have to be solid. That's something that we as men do a lot better at doing is carrying burdens. You know, we can't be sensitive we can't be too whiny we can't express our feelings all the time you know it's just not manly you know and unless you're dating a lesbian women don't want to deal with women so they don't want you to be crying and whining and complaining and all that that's their job that's what they're there for so you gotta man up you know what I mean? So sometimes you got to carry your own burdens. Sometimes you got to carry theirs, but it's your job. You know, you got to have a strong back. You got to be the rock. As far as women go, I'm not a woman, but I'm a man that's very sure what I want, you know? And nowadays, you know, I'm sure what I do and don't have to deal with. But women, on the other hand, you know, you guys make the babies. We can't do that. You carry the babies. We can't do that. You're the mother of the world you know we only have life because everybody has a mother you know so first of all men we need to start respecting our women and we need to start respecting black women in general too because they don't get the respect that they deserve you know and i think because they haven't been getting the respect they deserve and so many men been leaving the house way back when is why you've seen the change happen in women now now that we got you know now we got so many thoughts and and women who don't have too much respect for themselves and all of that and then women who care more about money than making a family and all of that stuff and women that feel like ain't nobody gonna make them no make them look like no fools and they can't get a decent man or keep a decent relationship because they don't know how to treat a man this is all our fault men because this is what caused them to be that way if we want women to get back to what we need them to be and, you know, be a strong woman for a family and not be so concerned with being embarrassed or being made to look like a fool or worrying about what their friends think. If we want to get back to that, men, we need to step up and do what we have to do. And it starts with making sure that we respect our women because they're somebody's mothers. You know, somebody had to respect your mother. So you got to respect, you know, other people's. But, you know, they bear the children, they bring, they bring life. So nurturing, taking care of their kids, taking care of their household, taking care of their family, that's, that's what a woman does. You know, if you're a woman and you're a super woman, you can do all that stuff that you're supposed to do, you know, if you're going to be somebody's wife and all that stuff, because ultimately, you pay attention, you guys are raised to have a family. You grow up with baby dolls. You're taught and bred to raise babies since you're a baby. Then you wonder how women 
you know, are more mature or they mature faster than men. You guys are like bred to be mature since you're a toddler. So about time you're 16 or something like that, you know, it needs this diaper change. You know, it needs to be fed. You know, you know, you got to burp it, all that stuff. They coming out with realistic dolls and you know, all of that. So you guys are bred from toddlers to know how to raise a baby. Yeah, you know I mean, your mother's supposed to teach you how to cook because eventually you have to take care of a man and take care of your family. You know, you could give a person money and you can give a person food and they'll eat for a day. But if you teach a person how to cook and teach a person how to fish, they can eat for a lifetime. You know, so you learn how to cook, you learn how to raise children and take care of a kid and all of that stuff. And, you know, ultimately, you're supposed to be taught how to take care of your man, too, you know. But being that so many men leave the household, most women don't have a man in the household to show their daughters how to take care of a man. But, you know, that's just that. That's what you need to do as a wife, you know. And then if you're a superwoman, you can take care of your household, your man, your family, and then still pursue a career and, you know, get a job and all of that stuff. You know, nobody's stopping you from doing that. You know, I personally have faith in all women. If you believe you can do it, you can do it. You know, and that's just what makes you a superwoman. That's what makes you stronger than most women. And there's no reason why all women can't be that strong. But if you decide that that's too much for you and you decide to either do one or the other, either I'm going to raise a family, be their housewife or whatever, or I'm going to be a career woman. If you decide to do one or the other, you decided that you can't put that on nobody else. But those women that are super women and they strong enough to do it, they can do both. And that's a woman for you right there. And then we have from Anime Girl 00. She writes, what's your opinion on acrimony? Was she justified or not? Ooh. That's a, that's a, that's a great one. That right there, that might be too long of an answer. I mean, the last one, the last question required a little lengthy, you know, answer, but that one right there might, this one might deserve its own video because that was a great movie for one. Taraji did a great job on there and so did the supporting actor, the guy, and like everybody played their role so good, but that right there was a great question and a great movie. And I personally think that that question right there deserves its own video. I don't feel like she was justified. I don't feel like she was justified because off the bat, if anybody has seen Acrimony, if you have it, go watch it and then come back to this or wait for the uh, other video. But she wasn't justified in my opinion because yeah, he cheated on her once when they first was dating and then he never cheated on her again you have to learn how to forgive if you can't forgive you'll never get better in a relationship and nothing will ever proceed and go the way it should you're putting a hold on your own happiness and you're stopping what could progress so that's that off the bat he never cheated again he said he would do right by her and he had she decided to invest her money in him and to help him with his business and it cost them their house and it cost them, you know, bills and all of that, all that stuff she decided to do. She could have said no, you know, but being supportive of her husband, she put the money into him and she lost all that stuff. And then she divorced him for her reasons. He begged her not to. He begged her and she still divorced him. Then his idea hit. Then he sold his stuff. And then he got all of that money after she divorced him. And still in all, which he did not have to do, he bought back her house with his own money and gave her $10 million. He didn't give her $10 million and say, here, you can do whatever you want with it and left it for her to buy back the house. He bought her the house. He bought her her mother's house back and then gave her $10 million. I know people in this lifetime that can stretch $1, one million for a lifetime and make it work. He didn't owe her nothing. He owed her nothing after that. He didn't owe her nothing before that, but he felt like being a man and he responsibly paid back all of the money that she invested in him. And then some, she, remember it was only like 
$50,000 that she invested into him. I only say only because he gave her $10 million. So he gave her enough money to live three lifetimes, first of all. So no, he didn't owe her nothing else. Her spazzing out and doing all that stuff afterwards because she was jealous and upset now that he went on and lived his life with that girl and gave her everything that he promised her. He promised her that as her husband. He was no longer her husband. He no longer owed her that. He owed it to the woman that he was with and he gave the woman that he was with all that stuff. So her doing all that stuff that she did out of being jealous, out of being angry, and out of being spiteful was just that. Women doing things out of, or anybody doing anything out of spite, jealousy, and, and you know, anger is always going to lead to something bad. There's no justification behind you doing anything that is fueled by those three things. So that's my answer for now. We can get into depth about it in a different video if need be. Yeah, you know I mean, anime girl, you can just leave a comment below or, you know, hit me up on Twitter. I think she took it too far and you see where it got her. Let that be a lesson to anybody that's doing things of spite, jealousy or anger. It's always going to end you up in some place negative. Because you see, he lived. And so did his girl, but she died. It's never going to get you anywhere positive. So we're going to end it on that note right there. We'll pick up on another episode. And like I said, please, please, if you just joined us, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. So you'll be the first person to get one of these bangers when I drop them, because I'm going to keep these things rolling to keep us busy. So, you know, we can all eh, enjoy each other's time while we sit through this quarantine, you know? So make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's try to get this to 300 likes and we'll drop the next Real Talk video, you know? If we can get 400 likes, then we'll do something else. You know, we'll do something fun. I don't know. You guys can text me. You know, you can leave a comment down below. Tell me what you want to see. And we can jump right on that because we I'm doing everything. You know, it's about you guys. It's about pleasing you guys. So write me some more questions and I'll make sure to give you a shout out. Read your question on here and we can proceed, you know. So love you guys. I appreciate you guys for coming out. And y'all make sure y'all stay in, stay in the house, stay safe, stay away from that Rona. Because I tell you this, once this all blows over, I'm going to have to celebrate beating the Corona by having a beer. A Corona, that is. Yeah. But you guys stay blessed up. All right. Remember, guys. Go out there, be the best you that you can be, chase your dreams, but don't walk, don't walk. It'll take you way too long to reach your dreams if you're walking. The best way, the best way to reach your dreams. Run. Run.